Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I have I just received this inverter. Just received this inverter. I purchased it from me from Amazon. This thing supposed to say 1000 watt pure sound wave. I have no tools to check the pure sound wave. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna test this inverter to see if it's working. I purchased a few things before. They came in 48 volt. They came in with 40 years old guys, and I got nothing. So I have I have two of them in my house right now, 40 years old. They're blown. I think it could be from the same company. I don't know. I'm just trying this thing out. I need a 40 years old small inverter. I can take it on the trip with me. Okay, guys. Now I'm gonna test this thing to see if we can put it in 1,000 watt. I got a simple test. Plug it into the system. And use this thing here, you okay, guys. Use this thing and say heat, heat, heat something. It's a heat gun. So, this says 1500 watts. Let me try it if it works. I may have other things to go 100 to 1000 watts. Right now, this is a 1500 watts. I have an inverter that would make it work already. That works already. So I, I just used it earlier. I think it's probably still hot. I just used it earlier. So guys, I'm about to plug this inverter into the system and see if it works. Uh, before I plug that, you see what this thing says, guys. It has short, short circuit protection, high temperature protection, low voltage and high voltage protection. Overload protection, surge protection. If this thing has all these things in there, guys, this thing could be this should, should not have any problem to work. Because now I'm about to take it apart. I'm about to plug it in and see what I got, guys. Wish me luck. So you're gonna see it live, guys. I'm gonna plug it in live. Last time, one of them I plugged in has some smoke. Guys, this is the inverter. This is where I'm gonna place it. I'm going to plug the positive there. I'm going to plug the negative first. Let me go ahead and plug the negative. I already tied this thing up. I'm going to plug the negative in there. And then I'm going to use my little ohms to charge the inverter. I'm going to take it from there. Let me turn off the inverter. The inverter isn't on off. I don't know why they always leave it on. Okay, guys, I plugged my, my first wire. Believe it or not, I'm scared of this guy. I don't like plugging any inverters. I don't like the spark, so I gonna try to use this thing for this thing not to spark. Guys, I don't know. This thing didn't do it. no single spark. I haven't plugged it in yet. So here we go. I'm gonna leave it with life, guys. In battle. Hey right, guys, this is plug. We're about to turn it on. I hope it doesn't do fire. Turn it on. We're good. This thing, 120. Hmm? Guys, this is working. I'm just showing. Guys, this is working. Now, this is supposed to say 1500 watts. I'm going to plug it in. I'm going to put it on low. Low is supposed to be half of it. And then put it on high. I hope this thing doesn't crash. Alright, plug it in guys. Now, I have a different light, I have a different inverter running, so that I, I can do it, but I prefer to shut the inverter off. Okay guys, I'm going to shut the inverter off and turn this light on. Okay, inverter is off guys. Now, this is this thing. Put it on low, see if it's going to run it. It does. It's on low. It does. It on low. Yep. Okay, guys. I shut it off now. Now I'm gonna do it on high. This thing has a such has a protection. This thing has a protection. Let me push it the other way. I'm gonna turn it on high. See, guys, on high. It started it, and then it shut down. You see? It shut down. You have a short protection there, guys. That's so far so good. Turn it back on. Turn it back on again. 
See if he stay on. Okay, he came back on, guys. So I don't have to force it. It does run at 15 divided by 2. That's seven, 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 750 7 volt. 7.5. Okay, we got 750 volt. This thing run. It does, guys. Okay, when you go on high, you shut it down. You have a search protection, which is a very good. That will save the inverter. If it was, I'm surprised of that. So, if it was 2,000, you would be running. Yeah, this is 1,000. So this is actually above somewhere around 1,000. Folks, as you can tell, we try, we try the the fan. I mean the the heat gun. The heat gun has a capacity of 1,500 watt. It make it, it works on it. It stop. It you do half of it, which is fine. Now this thing can work. Now I'm gonna try to see if I can run an AC on it, guys. I have a small AC. I want to know if I can run it on it. Okay, the AC is in the house. I got to I got to change. Put a plug inside of it. See if it can run. Okay, guys. I'm gonna try an AC. A small AC, 15, 1500 BTU. This is coming off. This is sucks. This thing's coming off, guys. I'm gonna put this thing in. I'm gonna plug that AC inside the house. I'm gonna check to see. If this thing will work, I think I should plug the AC first and come back here and plug this thing in and see if it's gonna work. All right, let me go ahead and do. Okay, guys, I plug, I plug the the, the, the AC, but I haven't turned it on yet. Let me go back inside and turn it on. We wanna know if it's something went wrong. Okay, so let me pause it. Go inside. The guys, I'm in the bedroom. This is the where the AC is. Don't worry guys, this bedroom not being used by anybody, so. Let me turn the AC on. You turn on. You turn on, guys. Now, I don't know how long it takes. I'm gonna go to the wood back there to see what's going on, okay? You wanna leave this on Because the compressor hasn't kicked in yet. The AC turn on. Okay, let's go back there. To, to, to watch what's going on guys guys the AC is running outside let me shut this thing off this inverter shut it off hold on I shut this inverter on I'm running on this little AC okay the tension slide on guys I'm running on this little AC here <coughs> excuse me there is a compressor and the AC if the compressor come on this thing's run. I think this is the winner. It looks like it's a POA because you can actually run that AC. I'm gonna leave this thing running, guys. Let me see my everything is on. Okay, everything's on. This is supposed to have a fan. I'm gonna let it run, guys. We have the power, let it run. If this thing run my AC. With the compressor kick in, I think I can switch this thing to the house. Let me let you run for 10 minutes, guys. The AC is going to kick in. I'll be right back. This is going to be running.
Okay guys, after four minutes, I believe this thing will turn off. Did turn off. So I put it to the lowest possible guys. I put it to 60. I believe when I put it at 60, the the inverter shut itself out. I'm not sure though, but I gotta I gotta take a look at the tape. Take a look at the video. Okay. I don't think the compression came in. I think when I bring it to 60, the 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 compressor kick in on the on the, on, um, on the AC. Then I saw it drop and we start again. I wasn't sure what happened. I gotta watch this tape. So I'm gonna go back inside to show you guys what's happening. Okay guys, this is the AC. I don't feel the cold in it. I don't think it's the fan is running guys. I put it on cold. This is working so. I think it's the fan is running. got 62 I went to 62 there we go guys you see what happened you see what happened guys the compressor they could not come on don't forget to subscribe guys I did my best the the computer the the inverter can start this thing when the compressor kick in it just died okay let me bring this thing back the way it was 70 and shut this thing off so now can this thing run the house the house doesn't take too more than this and this AC with this AC the house burn a lot of AC, the juices but without the AC I think can run the house I have the wrong wires so I'm not gonna take the chance that wire that I have so you guys have to stay tuned to stay tuned to see the next video guys Okay guys, don't forget to subscribe, okay? Do not forget to subscribe. That helped me tremendously. Um, so far, this thing can start the AC. But when the compressor can kick in, it shut itself off. And he, I believe he reboot itself too. He didn't do that with... Uh, it's depending on how far you overload it. Because I clearly didn't do that with the other with the other, with the with the gun, the heat gun. Okay, with the AC, it reboot itself. Let's see if it does the same thing with the heat gun, guys. Let me try the heat gun again. Okay, guys, this is what I'm gonna do. I forgot to turn this thing back on. I plug this thing in and turn it on. Okay. Now, I'm gonna put this on high, guys. Put it on high. Okay, there we go, you guys can see this. You're gonna start it, and then you trip it. When it trip, when this thing strip, it, you, it doesn't restart itself. Okay, it doesn't, I don't know why. Maybe because it's a heat gun. But it clearly doesn't start itself. It doesn't restart itself. On the AC, it does okay it does so guys don't forget to subscribe it helped the channel i appreciate I, this thing will, will be very appreciated okay guys i'm gonna shut this thing off that's the end of this video guys so i'm uh, um i will say this thing is not bad i need to see if you can run the house the house doesn't run more than 15 amp this may be okay guys so i haven't pushed it in the limit and also, I'm gonna have a video on this, on these guys, because I'm gonna push it to the limit. You gotta have a backup, because right now I'm off grid. I have to have a backup. So this is very small for the time being. Sometime next month, I will have a real inverter here as a backup. No, as a real inverter, so I will have this as a backup. This thing as a backup, guys. Until then, don't forget to subscribe, guys. Have a good one. If you haven't subscribed yet. Okay.